This video will show how to quickly set up a C++ project on Azure DevOps. The project uses CMake to handle building and uses the Catch2 test framework for regression tests. The first thing we're going to do is download the agent for Azure DevOps. The next thing we're going to do is open up a admin PowerShell and follow the instructions for installing the agent. We need to create an agent pool for our self-hosted agent before we configure our agent. Also, before we run the configure script, we're going to set up a personal access token since the script will ask us for one. I'm just copying my token to a, an empty notepad for convenience sake. We're going to register our agent with the agent pool we created earlier. Use the default for our desktop name or the agent name. And we're going to, I installed the agent as a, as a service, but you don't have to do that. And now if we go back to the website and refresh, we should see our agent is now registered. Since I registered my agent as service, I'm just showing how to see where to access that service so that if we need, need to restart it or stop it later on, we can. Next up, we're going to create an Azure project. Now that I have a, an Azure project, I'm going to create a simple Hello World C++ project. This is a fairly bare-bones CMake project that uses Catch2 test framework along with C-Test to support um, to execute regression tests. I'll have a separate video that goes over the files in this example project for those interested in learning more about CMake and Catch2. I'm using VS Code for development on Windows. It has some helpful extensions for working with CMake. The three I use are the CMake, CMake Tools, and CMake Tools Helper. 
this tutorial assumes you have CMake already installed as well as a compiler supported by CMake. In my example, I'm using the community edition of the Visual Studio C++ compiler. With CMake, the first thing you have to do is configure it. So this is going to generate all the Visual Studio 15 uh, project files for us. And then we can build Once the project finishes building, we can switch to a terminal and execute the compiled binaries. In this project, we compile a catch unit test to a unit test.exe. Uh, there's also a say hello command line program that we can execute. We can also run the same unit tests that are in the unit test.exe. Uh, via ctest. The main difference in this example is that the test can be executed in parallel, which comes in handy when there are a lot of tests. I don't think the catch framework supports running tests in parallel at this time, uh, so I think what ctest essentially does is executes the unit test exe in its own process for each individual test. Next up, we're going to create a build pipeline to tell Azure what it needs to do when we push to the master branch. I have a pre-made YAML file with steps to configure the CMake project, build the project, execute ctest for us, package our deliverables into a 7-zip archive, and then finally publish that archive so that we can download it once the process finishes. So here I'm just adding the YAML file to our Git repo and pushing it to the server so our project uh, can load it up. Once we click the Run button, we can see Azure start executing the steps we had configured in our YAML file, uh, which are now all executing on our self-hosted machine. Once the pipeline finishes, we can see that we can access our 7-zip archive uh, via the website. You can only see the unit test exe because our CMake file actually doesn't have an install command for the say hello target.